Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I'm going to be doing a live Bible trivia. Let's go. Are you ready? How good is your Bible knowledge? Okay, it's a blessing to have the Word of God in our hearts. It's a blessing to have the Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. All right. Okay. I'm going to open up in prayer. Praise the Lord. And uh, hopefully everyone is encouraged and blessed uh, through this live Bible trivia. Okay. I uh, come before you, Lord, and I pray that you would bless this live Bible trivia. May people be encouraged, Lord, and help us to fear you more and more and help us to love you more and more and teach us your ways, Lord, and be with us, Lord, uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Praise be to the Lord. We're going to do some live Bible trivia. How good is your Bible knowledge? <clears throat> All right. Are you ready? The Lord is good. Amen. He is the King of Kings and he is the Lord of Lords. And there is no one like the Lord Jesus. He is the King and he will save his people. Glory to God. Woo! Okay. First question. First question. Who was David's good friend who loved him? Who was David's good friend who loved him? Come on. Uh, you got this. You got this. Woo! All right. Okay. Let's. All right. Joel. Okay. Joe Brown. Brother Dominic's in the chat. Okay. Okay. Uh, for everyone who said Jonathan, you are correct. That is the correct answer. It is Jonathan. Okay. Uh, in the book of Genesis, uh, who was Joseph's mother? So Joseph is Jacob's son. Who was Joseph's mother? You know the answer? You got this. You got this. It's not Rebecca. It's not Rebecca. Ooh, come on. Praise be to the Lord. It's Rachel. It's Rachel. Uh, so for everyone who answered Rachel, you are correct. Praise be to the Lord. Amen. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Next question. What was the name of Mary's sister who worked hard in the kitchen? <clears throat> Woo. What was the name of Mary's sister who worked hard in the kitchen? You know the answer? Woo. All right, all right, it's Martha, it's Martha. So for everyone who answered Martha, you are correct. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Okay, where did Mary go to visit Elizabeth, John the Baptist's mother? Uh, so Elizabeth is the mother of John the Baptist. Where did Mary go to visit Elizabeth? Woo, come on, come on. You know the answer? Where did Mary go to visit Elizabeth? <clears throat> where did she go? Anyone have the answer? Anyone have the answer? Uh, so the answer is into the city of Judah. She went into the city of Judah. Okay, next question. Are you ready? Next question. All right. How many pieces of silver did Judas get, get for betraying Jesus? How many pieces of silver did Judas get for betraying Jesus? Okay, okay. For everyone who said 30, you are correct. Very good. You are correct. Okay, next question. What book records God's rescue of a young man from the lion's den? <clears throat> what book records God's rescue of a young man from the lion's den? Come on, you got this. Woo! All right, all right, it's Daniel. For everyone who is answering Daniel, you are correct. Praise the Lord, you are correct. Good job, good job. Okay, next question. Which brother of Jesus wrote a book of the Bible? <clears throat> Which brother of Jesus wrote a book of the Bible? Woo, okay, okay, come on, come on. For everyone who says James, you are correct. 
There's also another brother. Are you able to think of the other brother? Okay. Jude is another one. So Jude and James, praise be to the Lord. Amen. All right, all right, all right. Okay, next. Okay. Can you name me three New Testament epistles that bear the same name? Can you name me three New Testament epistles that bear the same name? Uh, you got this. Come on, come on. Woo, praise the Lord. Come on, you know the answer? Let's get it. Okay, 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John. 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John. Okay. Okay. All right, next question. Are you ready? How long did it rain to cause the great flood? How long did it rain to cause the great flood? Got this. How long did it rain to cause the great flood? Uh, not 120 days, no. Woo! Praise the Lord. So it's 40 days and 40 nights. Very good. 40 days and 40 nights. Everyone who answered 40 days and 40 nights, you are correct. Okay. What was the new commandment that Jesus gave? What was the new commandment that Jesus gave? You got this. Come on, come on. <clears throat> and we all can use more love of this, amen? So the answer is love one another. The answer is love one another. Praise the Lord. He wants us to love one another, amen? He wants us to have love for one another. Glory to God. All right, okay. Very good, very good. <clears throat> okay, next question. Are you ready? If y'all are enjoying this live Bible trivia, uh, feel free to click that thumbs up button. Woo! Okay, you ready for the next question? The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord Jesus. He's coming soon to judge the world in righteousness. Amen. Praise be to the Christ of glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay, next question. Are you ready? What priest anointed Saul? <coughs> what priest anointed Saul? You got this. Woo! All right, okay. I saw in the Old Testament. The answer is Samuel. The answer is Samuel. So for, for anyone who answered Samuel, you are correct. Good, good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Praise the Lord Jesus. Okay. Next question. All right. You ready? In which city did Zacchaeus see Jesus? In which city did Zacchaeus see Jesus? In what city did Zacchaeus see Jesus? In what city? In what city? You got this. Come on. In what city did Zacchaeus see Jesus? The city. The city. The city. You got this? You got this? Okay. The answer is Jericho. The answer is Jericho. Praise the Lord. All right. It's Jericho. Okay, next question. Are you ready for this? And are you guys able to hear me and see me good? I'll let me know if you're able to hear me and see me good. All right, all right. Very good. Okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> all right. Very good. What book in the Bible has the same number of chapters in it as the Bible has books? What book in the Bible has the same number of chapters in it as the Bible has books? <clears throat> Got this. 
Woo, come on, you got this. Okay. Diane said Isaiah. Sunny Days said Job. It's not Job. Ace Rivera said Isaiah. Natalie said Isaiah. David said Jericho. Maybe he was referring to the other question. So the answer is the book of Isaiah. It is Isaiah. So there is 66 books in the Bible, and there are 66 chapters in the book of Isaiah. If you didn't, if you didn't know that, you learn something new. And you know a wonderful, powerful chapter is Isaiah chapter 3. Isaiah chapter 3 is the chapter that prophesizes that prophesied about the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. That's so wonderful. It's by the Lord Jesus that we have eternal life and salvation. The Lord Jesus, he is the good shepherd of the sheep. All glory and credit to God. Amen. Okay, next question. Are you ready? <clears throat> okay. Who complained to the Lord that he was slow of speech and tongue? Who complained to the Lord that he was slow of speech and tongue? Wow. Stephen said Moses. Susan said Moses. Victor said Moses. All right, all right. Rachel said Moses. Joy said Moses. Deborah said Moses. You are correct. It is Moses. And you see, God can use any of us. If we make ourselves available for the Lord, uh, the Lord can use us. Glory to God. Okay, next question. All right, next question. According to Jesus, who is the greatest prophet ever born? According to Jesus, who is the greatest prophet ever born? And uh, thank you very much for that $5. Uh, God bless you. According to Jesus, you got this. He's the greatest prophet ever born. You got this. It's not Isaiah. It's not Elijah. For, it's not Paul. For everyone who is for everyone who answered John the Baptist, you are correct. Praise the Lord. For everyone who has answered John the Baptist, you are correct. Correct. Glory to God. Okay, next question. Are you ready? Okay, next question. In which book is the Christian's armor listed? In which, in which book is the Christian armor listed? In which book is the Christian's armor listed? Yeah. You got this. Woo, come on now. For everyone who has answered Ephesians, you are correct. And are you also able to tell me in which chapter it's it talks about the whole armor of God? The full or whole armor of God? In which chapter in Ephesians? All right. All right. The, it is six, chapter six. And if you haven't read that, you should go read Ephesians chapter six. It's a wonderful, powerful chapter. Woo! Praise be to the Lord. It is a powerful chapter. Amen. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. Who was King's? Uh, sorry. Who was King? Who was King Saul's son? Who was King Saul's son? <coughs> Woo! Okay. All right. Okay. Karen said Jonathan. Susan said Jonathan. Okay. Natalie said Jonathan. Dominic said Jonathan. Victoria, Jonathan. All right, all right. It is Jonathan. If you said Jonathan, you are correct. Okay. All right. Next question. Okay. To what place did the angel tell Joseph to flee with Mary and Jesus? got this to what place did the angel tell joseph to flee with mary and jesus Woo! come on now all right all right okay for everyone who has answered egypt you are correct <clears throat> for everyone who has answered egypt you are correct okay 
How many letters did Paul write to the Thessalonians? Uh, so it's in the New Testament. How many letters did Paul write to the Thessalonians? All right. All right. Woo. Susan said two. Victor, uh, uh, Victoria said two. Sandra said two. Karen said two. Stephen said two. Joy said two. All right, all right. For everyone who has answered two, you are correct. First Thessalonians and Second Thessalonians. Praise the Lord. Okay, now it's such a blessing, and and uh, might be in First Thessalonians chapter four. He talks about how the, the Lord will descend from heaven, and he goes on to talk about how the dead in Christ will be raised first. It's amazing. It's amazing. He's coming to redeem his people. Wow. He is coming to redeem his people. Next question. <clears throat> What is the fifth book in the New Testament? So when you go in order, you say you start from Matthew. What is the fifth book in the New Testament? Uh, this one should be easy now. This one should be easy. Uh, you got this. You got this. That's right. All right. All right. For everyone who said Acts, you are correct. The book of Acts is a wonderful and powerful book. For everyone who said the book of Acts, you are correct. Okay. All right. Next question. Are you ready? All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Let's see. What's the next one I should do? All right. All right. What are the names of Noah's three sons? Woo. What are the names of Noah's three sons? Oh, you think you can get this one? You could. You think you could do all three of them? Okay. All right. Good. Good. Wow! Wow! Ooh, you are smart. Okay. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Shem. Ham and Japheth. Good job. Good job. All right. Okay, next question. In the New Testament, who was saved by being lowered over a wall in a basket? In the New Testament, who was saved by being lowered over a wall in a basket? <coughs> Ooh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. It was the Apostle Paul. It was the Apostle Paul. There's a chance. There's a chance at this time. Maybe his name was still considered Saul. But if not, it was Paul. But eventually, you know, he, he became Paul. Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay. Next question. Are you ready? All right. All right. Are you ready? What does the Hebrew word Abba mean? What does the Hebrew word Abba mean? <clears throat> Woo, come on, you got this. Okay, daddy is a correct answer. Also, for those who have said father, that is also a correct answer. Isn't that wonderful? We can go to God the Father in prayer. We have access to the throne of grace by the Lord Jesus. That is absolutely uh, incredible that we have access to the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? No matter your sins, you can come to the Lord Jesus and be saved. And even as a born-again believer, you can, you know, if your fellowship with God has been broken in any way because of unrepentant sin, unforgiveness, bitterness, you can come to the Lord Jesus. You know, he wants you to forgive others. He wants you to repent, turn from your sins. He wants you to come to him in boldness. And not only can God forgive you, but he can also change you and give you the power over sins. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Woo! Okay, okay. Next question. <laughs> Where was Moses standing when God told him to take off his shoes? What was the ground called? He was on what? He was on what? What was he on? Woo! You got this. You got this. Okay, okay. He was on holy ground. You are correct. He was on holy ground. 
If you said holy ground, you are correct. He was on holy ground. Imagine having that encounter with God as Moses did. That is powerful and it is incredible. Praise be to the Lord. Next question. Y'all should be able to get this one now. What king was the sweet psalmist of Israel? What king was the sweet psalmist of Israel? Woo! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What king was the sweet psalmist of Israel? It is David. It is David. For everyone who said David, you are correct. Amen. Okay, uh, what is something that John the Baptist said as Jesus was coming towards him? When, he, when John the Baptist saw Jesus, what is something he said? This is a powerful declaration. Powerful declaration. <clears throat> what, is, what is something he said? <clears throat> Woo! Wow, wow, wow. Glory to God. Glory to God. Behold. He said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. <clears throat> My sin, your sin, was placed on the Lord Jesus. He offers salvation to all. Isn't that wonderful? Everyone can be saved if they repent and if they put their trust in the Lord Jesus. woo -hoo! He is our only hope for salvation. Glory to God. Okay, praise the Lord. All right. You ready? All right, next next one. All right, all right. Let's see. Okay, what's the next one should I ask? Okay. Hmm. Can you name me the third book in the Old Testament? So in order, what's the third book? So you know, in the Old Testament... What is the third book? It's not Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is the fifth book. All right, all right. For everyone, okay, okay. Think you know it? For everyone who has answered Leviticus, you are correct. For everyone who has answered Leviticus, you are correct. Okay, all right. Good job, good job. All right. Praise the Lord Jesus. He is the King of kings, and he is the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the next one? All right. All right. What is the shortest of the four Gospels? What is the shortest of the four Gospels? What is the shortest of the four Gospels? It's not John. It's not Matthew. <clears throat> For everyone who said Mark, you are correct. For everyone who said Mark, you are correct. Okay. All right. The next one. Are you ready? Are y'all ready? Okay. All right. Who asked to be given the body of Jesus? You know? Who asked to be given the body of Jesus? Ooh, okay, okay. All right. If you answer Joseph of Arimathea, you are correct. Joseph of Arimathea. Woo, Joseph of Arimathea, praise the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> okay, are you able to finish this Bible verse? It's in John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. Can you finish it? In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was. Woo! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wow. Isn't that wonderful? 
In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. Hallelujah. And in verse 14, the word became flesh. Hallelujah. He became flesh. The Lord Jesus is God in the flesh. Hallelujah. Jesus is not a created being. Jesus is eternal with the Father forever and ever. From eternity past and all in eternity future, there is no end. <coughs> Jesus died for us on the cross for our sins. He was buried, resurrected on the third day. He's coming to judge the world in righteousness and redeem his saints. Glory to God. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, okay, okay. Praise the Lord. Are y'all enjoying this? <laughs> Did everyone here enjoy this trivia? Oh, okay. People are saying yes. People are saying yes. All right. It's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. I'm going I'm to ask you another trivia question. Are you ready? I'm going to ask you another one. Okay. All right. Which prophet wrote, we all like sheep have gone astray. We all like sheep have gone astray. We all like sheep have gone astray. Which one? Ooh, the answer is Isaiah. If you said Isaiah, you are correct. Okay, I'm going to ask you another one. Are you ready? Okay, next question. Who tried to tempt Joseph into sinning when he was a slave of Potiphar? Who tried to tempt Joseph into sinning when he was a slave of Potiphar? Someone said, just found you. Well, praise the Lord you discovered this channel. Hopefully it encourages you. The answer is Potiphar's wife. Okay, the answer is Potiphar's wife. So for everyone who said Potiphar's wife, you are correct. Okay, last Bible trivia question. Who did Isaac bless instead of Esau? Who did Isaac bless instead of Esau? Okay, woo, all right. The answer is Jacob. The answer is Jacob. Praise the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. All right, that, that is awesome. Thank you for coming on this live. Uh, if you appreciate this live and if you appreciate this YouTube channel, uh, you're able to leave a super thanks. And thank you for that. And praise the Lord. And the question, uh, so what is the most recent video uh, you saw of mine? What, what is the most recent video uh, that you saw of mine? Can you think of the most recent one? Can you think of the most recent video? Someone said, just watch today's upload. Finishing of verses, praise the Lord. Someone said, I saw the young lady that went to, wow, pray for her. She went to a Christian school, and uh, I pray that the Lord would save her from her sins. Praise the Lord. Well, thank you all for watching my content. I'm going to close in prayer. Let us give thanksgiving to the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Okay, I, I uh, come before you, Lord. And I pray that you would teach us and lead us, Lord, into your ways. Lead us, Lord, into righteousness and give us all guidance, wisdom, grace, and strength. Bless everyone who came on this chat. Help us, Lord, to keep your commandments and help us to walk in holiness, godliness, and righteousness. Help us to be godly and help us to be a people of godliness. Bless us, Lord, and use us for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, praise the Lord. All right. Well, thank you very much. May God bless you. And y'all have a wonderful and fantastic 
uh, rest of your day or evening. Okay, God bless.